History of the Sukhoi Su-57, Russia's next-gen stealth fighter. Opening scene, dramatic background music, cinematic visuals of the Su-57 taking off and performing maneuvers. The Sukhoi Su-57 Nayyants, Russia's cutting-edge fifth-generation stealth fighter, has been making headlines worldwide. But how did this advanced war machine come to life? Let's take a deep dive into its history and development. Cut to archival footage of early Soviet fighter jets, followed by images of modern Russian aircraft. The origins, Russia's need for a stealth fighter. In the late 90s and early 2000s, the Russian Air Force sought to develop a fighter jet that could compete with the American F-22 Raptors E and F-35 Lightning II. The Soviet Union had previously worked on advanced jet designs, but after its collapse, funding and development slowed. By 2001, the Russian government launched the PAC-FA, Prospective Aviation Complex for Frontline Aviation, program. To create a next-generation fighter with stealth capabilities, supermaneuverability, and advanced avionics. Transition to design and development stages, showing engineers working on prototypes. Stantamboye, the birth of the Su-57. The Sukhoi Design Bureau was selected to lead the project, and in 2010, the first prototype, known as the T-50, took its maiden flight. It showcased impressive aerodynamics, thrust vectoring engines, and a sleek radar-evading design. The Su-57 was designed to outperform Western rivals, featuring stealth technology with radar-absorbing materials, super cruise capability, allowing sustained supersonic flight, advanced avionics, including AI-assisted combat systems, powerful weaponry, including hypersonic missiles, cut to footage of Su-57 in military drills and combat tests. Number Gaia challenges and delays. Despite its promising design, the Su-57 faced technical difficulties and financial constraints. Engine development was a major issue, with initial models relying on older jet engines. However, by 2022, Russia introduced the Izdelie 30 engine, significantly improving performance. The aircraft also saw real combat testing in Syria, proving its capabilities in electronic warfare and precision strikes. Cut to a modern Su-57 squadron, dramatic airshow footage. Su-57 in 2025 and beyond. Today, the Su-57 is entering full production, with Russia aiming to deploy this over 70 units by 2038. It has also been offered to foreign buyers, increasing its impact on the global arms market, with continuous upgrades and new AI-powered combat systems. The Su-57 is set to become a key player in future air combat. Closing scene, Su-57 taking off, epic music fades. Is the Su-57 the future of aerial warfare? Only time will tell. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more military tech updates.